Hey everybody, it's me Hannah because we were on a video from the night. Savannah, no music, please. And hey everybody, it's me, my Peter. Are you gonna? We're gonna come try our palm cake. Well, it's uh, Hannah's eating a bunk cake, but a bunk cake. And today <gasps> is the fourth, and we in this National Pound Cake Day. And we, and we know and we have an thing. overnight study. Not, not tonight, Wednesday. Wednesday. Um, and I'm doing pound cake. Sorry, guys. I'm doing pound cake. I got me just peaches, yeah. but pound cake. That don't look like a pound cake. That it don't look is. like mine. Yours, because yours is not a pound cake. Yours is a bunk cake. Yours is a bunk cake. But There's another one right there. Oh, it smells so good. so good. Um, here, Gary, open this. Savannah, no music. Savannah, no music. Well, that's enough. Because it's going to get all juicy. Yeah, on your palm. That's going to make it yes. No, it's going to be soggy. Soggy. What the soggy? You know I have texture issues. You can put some fruit. Savannah. Leave it all right here. Mm -hmm. I'm just waiting. Okay, go ahead, Hannah. The best way to eat pound cake or even it. angel food cake I, is with fruit. How about if we get an angel cake with the, her face on it? Where's your peaches? Thanks. How about we get um, a pound cake with her face good. on it? Of course, it's good. Good, pound cake. <laughs> um, pound cake okay. is very good. And do you know why it's called a pound cake? If I'm not mistaken... And I have heard that they call it a pound cake because you use one pound of butter. Right, Gare? I don't know the exact reason. It's a pound of something. I, think, pound it's, right, pound of I think it's one pound of butter. You use one pound of butter, which um, that's why it's called a pound cake. If that's not right, please let me know. Ooh, that does smell very spicy. You are going to pay for it. See, the problem with how Gary's banking account is set up is he can't have anything spicy after five. Or he is up all night with acid reflux. That's how that works. And, um, he's eating chili on a hot tamale. So, by default, he will be up all night. Oh, y'all see that? That's a shirt. And I know y'all gonna be like, oh my gosh, there's Why something hanging in the background. Why is it hanging? See what happened was what happened? if you look Don't the do that. the knobs on my dresser is it's not mom's dresser. That is my dresser. The knobs are off. Because it had knobs until until I had two year old little girls that like to climb. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. I wonder who they was. Hannah and Savannah. Hannah and Savannah. Like the get up there and We like to claim stuff. Get up there and hang. Which the knobs was just screwed in. Yeah, At that broke. time I did not have. And they broke. A, uh, no they did not break. They just unscrewed. 
and because they were just screwed on with the with the bolt mm -hmm. and i didn't have a screwdriver or anything to mm -hmm. tighten it up so they eventually became so loose that was a hazardous so i just finished unscrewing it and taking them off but doing that i couldn't open up my dresser i couldn't open up them doors anymore without having a butter knife and because i'm a mother I don't want to keep a butter knife in my room because why I have two little girls yeah. and so because what me and Gary did them. because we already had the uh, commercial um, yep. staple gun uh, staple gun yeah we <laughs> just took a shirt and stapled it to the door well so that we can open up the doors, Hannah. Um, and usually most of that is like around it and inside. Just like a little bit hanging out. Just so we can pull it and open it. And I forgot why we opened that thing. Well, anyways, when we opened it. Anyways, it didn't get stuck back in there. So, not to worry. I see it in the background. I know that it's there. I know why it's there. And now you do. But if y'all enjoyed this video, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe. And do not forget to... Oh, I did not do my intro. I, I do apologize, guys. Um, I am doing this. This is day four of um, NMD. National March Days, me and CGG, aka Little Crazies, is doing this. Um, I will link her video that she did today in the description below and in the pinned comment, along with her page in the description and in the pinned comments. And y'all go over and uh, check out her channel one check out her video that she did today it's a very good video i have already watched it i won't tell y'all what it's about because i want y'all to go over to her channel and give her love and give her support and then while y'all over there check out some of her other videos check out the videos that she did for this pacific um playlist or this is it I, I'm making a playlist I don't know if she is but go over <laughs> that's funny she just texts me um she did it's funny CGG if you see this I just got your um Facebook messenger message while making this video so I'm laughing um and I am still doing a video. You're being rude to the friends. And y'all go over and y'all support her. Y'all um, give her love. Check out the rest of the videos in her playlist. If she is truly making a playlist. Or um, check out... Her other videos, like I said, she's very funny. Very, very funny. And if you if you like me, y'all will love her. Because she does mukbang videos. She does inspirational, really inspirational videos. I'm going to say inspirational videos. Because um, she does different videos and about different things. And... You know, uh, she's going through um, the weight loss uh, um, journey um, and plan on getting the weight loss surgery. So y'all go over there and y'all support her and her um, actually going through that. I myself went through that same journey and had my surgery on um, May the 10th 2010 so yes i already had it um 
the lowest weight that I got down to was I started out at 387 before my six month diet because it's required for 10 care um, 10 care or medic Medicare I think that's what it is in other states 10 care in Tennessee um, requires you to be on a diet and uh, lose weight um, for six months and you have to be a certain BMI or they will not operate on you but I started out at 387 um, um, that was the the first day of my diet which was October of 09 I had like I said I had my surgery May of um, May of two, May the 10th 2010 now on that day I was 360 but this is what happened be like my my six month diet I got down to 320 but because on the day of surgery which was I gained 40 pounds on the two week two week liquid diet because um because I was on I was on three water pills and I wouldn't on water pills because of my um because of blood pressure or anything. Like I had normal blood pressure even for my size. Like I was healthy um for my size. Like I didn't like the problems that I had, my health problem was uh pseudotumor cerebri and that I never been pregnant and they thought okay that's because of your weight found out the pseudotumor cerebri and the reason why I never been pregnant had nothing to do with my weight but I didn't know that to out to years plural years after the weight loss surgery but I went through the I went through the necessary things to because I really wanted kids. Like I always tell people, I never got the weight, I never got the surgery to be skinny because I didn't. I got the surgery so that I can get pregnant and so that my pseudo tumor cerebri will go away and the weight loss made my pseudo tumor cerebri worse and it um had it, that wasn't the reason i never got pregnant never had a baby so it didn't have anything to do with it but i don't regret it i don't regret it one bit um because i needed to lose weight but i didn't and I, I never want to be skinny i still don't want to be skinny um but the lowest weight that i got to was to oh okay i'm sorry the reason why i was 360 on the day of surgery was because i had to get off my weight i had to get off my water pills which I was like I said I was taking three water pills and I had to get off of them water pills because they didn't know how that would affect me who is that I don't know who that is sorry somebody was calling me um, they did not know how that will affect me after surgery since you know my stomach went from freaking a football down to the size of an egg so just imagine you know my stomach was the size of a regular u.s football um and going from that size down to the size of probably about a they say a small egg but i think realistically a medium egg um so that's a significant significantly smaller that's why they want you to diet so that you can get your body used to eating less calories 
and um, you know the the biggest thing that they tell you uh, is you know bite or uh, uh, sip 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 do not uh, do not drink guzzle because your stomach's not that big and you will hurt yourself and you can't stretch your you can't stretch your pouch your new pouch or even bust the staples because you gotta remember anyways y'all look it up i don't want to i don't want to ruin y'all's appetite if y'all are watching this um and i don't want to make this longer but that's why i gained weight on the day of surgery and then me walking out of the hospital after having the weight loss surgery i was at 370 so i gained 10 pounds after the surgery only because i was not taking my water pills because i just had weight loss surgery I already was not getting in. I, I wasn't getting in enough fluids to balance out my body. But what was it? Two, two or three weeks after surgery. I think it was two or three weeks after surgery because my water pills were not because of my blood pressure. One, my blood pressure was was like already going extremely low. I then got back on my water pills because it was for my head. All three of them water pills were for my head. It wasn't for blood pressure. It was to pull the fluid off of my brain. And, of course, my headaches were starting because I had nothing to flush it because my body would not naturally flush it. Right now, still to this day, even, what, four years or yeah, going on four years after my double brain surgery, I'm on a water pill. I'm I'm actually on the highest dose of acetazolamide, which is a thousand milligram extended release. That's the they told me. That's the legal highest dose of that pill that they can give me. And that's not strong enough. So when I go to my neurologist, I might have to get on another water pill because even at that water pill with a VP shunt that is supposed to be working, it's still not pulling off enough fluid on the old noggin. That's why I say Hitler is evil. But anyhow... And Roxanne ain't no better. Um, but this turned into a whole nother video. And I do apologize. Y'all go check out CGG and go over there and support her if y'all made it this far. Hopefully y'all did. Y'all go over and support her because she's a very sweet and um, beautiful inside and out young woman. And she needs support. Like for authentic, real people, and if y'all are my people, I'm gonna say that. Excuse me, I'm gonna say that y'all are real, and that y'all are authentic. I I will, I will hope that y'all are, because y'all mess with me, and I love y'all, and I feel like y'all love me. Anyhow, y'all have a blessed night. And come back tomorrow to see what I'm doing. Um, I don't even know what tomorrow is. Um, we will be um, shooting Wednesday's video tonight because Gary and Hannah will not be here on yeah. Wednesday night so we so if you're like oh my gosh that looks like Monday's video because I am shooting it on Monday but I will be releasing it on Wednesday so please uh, stay tuned for that and that video if I can get it shot upload it 
it will be released at noon because anytime I schedule a video they're always released at noon all right have a blessed night bye